Welcome to Grimm Paintings. Today I'm going to redo one of Grimm's fairy tales while I paint a picture. This story is called The Three Spinners. There was once a girl who was idle and would not spin, and let her mother try as she might, she could not bring her to it. At last, the mother was overcome with anger and impatience that she beat her on which the girl wept loudly. Now at this very moment, the queen was coming down the lane when she heard the weeping and stopped to see what was the matter. Then she found that the mother was beating her daughter and she asked the mother, why she was beating her daughter so that the cries could be heard out into the street. Then the woman, the woman was ashamed to reveal the laziness of her daughter and said, I cannot get her to quit spinning. She insists on spinning forever and ever, and I am poor and cannot procure the flax. Then answered the queen, there is nothing that I like better than the sound of spinning, and I am never happier than when the wheels are humming. Let me have your daughter with me in the palace. I have flax enough, and there she shall spin as much as she likes. The mother was hardly satisfied with this, and the queen took the girl with her. When they had arrived at the palace, she led her up into the three rooms which were filled from bottom to the top of the finest flax. Now, spin me this flax, said she, and when you have done it, you shall have my eldest son for a husband. Even if you are poor, I do not care about that, for you are an industrious worker. Uh-oh. The girl was secretly terrified, for she could not have spun the flax. No, not even if she tried. Not even if she tried until she was 300 years old and all morning and all night. When she was alone, she began to weep. And thus for three days without moving a finger. On the third day came the queen and when she saw that nothing had been spun yet, she was surprised. But the girl excused herself by saying that she had not been able to begin because of her great distress at leaving her mother's house. The queen was satisfied with this, but said when she was going away, Tomorrow you must begin work. When the girl was alone again, she did not know what to do, and in her distress went to the window. Then she saw three women coming towards her, the first of whom had a broad, flat foot. The second had such a great under lip that it hung down over her chin, and the third had a broad thumb. They remained standing before the window, looked up, and asked the girl what was amiss with her. She complained of her trouble and then they offered her help and said, if you invite us to the wedding, not be ashamed of us and we'll call us your aunts and likewise and likewise will place us at your table. We will spin up the flax for you and that in a very short time. With all my heart, she replied, come in and begin the work at once. Then she led in the street three strange women and cleared a place in the first room where they seated themselves and began their spinning. The one drew the third and trod the wheel, the other wetted the thread, the third twisted it and struck the table with her finger. As often as she struck it, a skein of thread fell to the ground that was spun in the finest manner possible. The girl concealed the three spinners from the queen and showed her whenever she came the great quantity of spun thread until the latter could not praise her enough. When the first room was empty, she went to the second, and at last to the third, and that too was quickly cleared. Then the three women took leave and said to the girl, Do not forget what you have promised. It will make you a fortune. When the maiden showed the queen the empty rooms and the great heap of yarn, she gave orders for the wedding, and the bridge room rejoiced that he was to have such a clever and industrious wife, and praised her mightily. Uh, I have three aunts, said the girl, and as they have been very kind to me, I should not like to forget them in my good fortune. Allow me to invite them to the wedding and let them sit at the table with us. The queen and the bridegroom said, 
why should we not allow that? Therefore, when the feast began, the three women entered in strange apparel, and the bride said, Welcome, dear aunts. Uh, said the bridegroom, however did you get such odious friends? He went to the one with the broad, flat foot and said, How do you come by such a broad, flat foot? By treading, she answered, by treading. Then the bridegroom went to the second and said, How do you come by your falling lip? By licking, she answered, by licking. Then he asked the third, How do you come by your broad thumb? By twisting the thread, she answered, by twisting the thread. To this the king's son was alarmed and said, Neither now nor ever shall my beautiful bride touch a spinning wheel. And thus she got rid of the hateful flax spinning. Well, I hope you enjoyed this story and painting. And make sure to take care of yourself. Until next time, bye for now.